needed. When I say he needed, I am not. I, I'm talking about dramatic opportunities, I think, more than I'm talking about his soul, although it became that. Um, somebody who recognized his value, recognized his strengths and his weaknesses is what he needed above him. Mm -hmm. If it's somebody who just sees one or the other, it's a problem. And so it had to be somebody, I knew House was crazy enough and out there enough that it had to be somebody who would take a chance on him and that chance is blowing up in their face. And so although they're the one telling him not to do this, not to do that, they're also the only reason that he's employed, which I found an interesting. Okay, situation. great. Yeah. Uh, and uh, okay, so that was the, so you find a friend, you, you found a boss. Uh, I'll tell you a funny story about the friend since it's been so much time has passed, I can tell in terms of the casting. So Robert Sean Leonard mm -hmm. comes in and auditions and does a very nice job and we ultimately cast him, but he auditions, I don't know if you remember that, you, you must. The process used to be, you would literally bring the actors in to the network yes. and they sit in a little amphitheater and read their part and then they'd leave the room and then the president of the network would go, well, I don't know, you know, maybe yeah. this. And the president, that's what happened. And the president says, well, I think he should be a little kinder, a little more soulful. I can't remember what the note was exactly. And, and our director goes, okay, I'll go talk to him. And I'm sitting there in the room going, I think that was a terrible note. I mean, I, I think the best friend can't be like house but has to be somebody that inside them has an attraction to that kind of insanity yes. and needs that kind of insanity and values that kind of, there, there's there's something fucked up inside wilson in order for wilson to be house's friend and i'm thinking that and and i'm thinking that and i'm thinking do i say something do i say something then i go i gotta say something so i get up leave wow. the room walk i remember walking down the hallway in the network finding robert with our director and i go Brian and and he immediately goes, "Oh, it's a terrible note. It's a terrible note." Brian we'll says, do it "Their way. We'll we'll do it their way for the audition. We'll cast him, and then we'll do it our way." <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> oh God! And so he did. He came back in, and he was incredibly empathetic and loving and caring. And they went great. And then you cast him and did what you wanted. Okay. Yes. Right. How often, just for the actors in the audience who are listening here, how often does an actor walk in and, and uh, give you exactly what you want uh, and you go, great, versus an actor walked in and just is wrong and then you go, but there's something there. What, what is that? And then you dig in. What, what, how does that work with you? The latter doesn't happen too often at least as the series is going on and not because it should just because there's not the time for that as the series goes on mm -hmm. that that does happen it does happen sometimes it happens regularly going they're wrong about that but boy they're right about this mm -hmm. boy they found something really interesting there mm -hmm. you do want to get noticed in your audition you, you want to you know you want to do make some choice where they go oh that's interesting yeah um, so some choice that's not obvious yeah yeah um, having said that, if you're reading for the second orderly, do the obvious choice, you know. <laughs> yes, sir, I'll get those done right away. Yes, uh, exactly. Yes, you sort of have to do, bring what's expected, uh, which is the, the frustration of many actors and many of my actor friends who do one guest shot after another and their job is to deliver the water from here to there. And, uh, and that's the job. Uh, and yet, as, 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 as folks who are doing this, we want when they're bringing the water from here to there, we do want something. We want yeah. them to be human beings. We want them to do a little surprising. And often we haven't written it. Often all we've written is the exposition. So when someone does that and you go, oh, it's good. They didn't interrupt the script. They didn't play against the story, but they gave me a little something there. That's interesting. Yeah. Not too much to stop the script. No, <laughs> it's not no the story. it's dangerous. But, it's a really tricky, dangerous yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, because the other thing is you came in, you do exactly what they say, you, you nail the part and, and and so much so that they, they they love you and bring you back and for for orderly number two, because you need orderly number two every week. And yeah. suddenly orderly number two becomes a recurring character and suddenly then he has a character. But, uh, but yeah, both are risky, just doing what you want uh, and, and not. The, um, when, you're, when you're casting for the pilot, yeah. 
what are you looking for in those actors who come in? Now you've written this and, and writers can be terrible in this because we write something, we've pictured the character in our head and we want the character to walk in the room and just say the goddamn lines and then leave. And then we go, great, that's it. That was the first person that came in, did it, leave. Do you, do you fall into that problem yourself? Do you, or do you find, and do people stop you or, or, or are you looking for someone to surprise you a little bit? I confess I'm more the former than, and I'm, that, that I've got a, a vision. Yeah. I've got, I've got a vision in my head, not, not physical stuff, but just the attitude that comes across from the lines, sure. the point of view. I will get surprised sometimes and very excited by the surprises, but usually it's like, no, that's. that's you want boring. them to understand because often we don't write parentheticals. You don't write those little descriptions each time that says, this is how the line should be said because it's stupid to do that uh, and to feed actors. But you want them to understand that when they say, I hate you, Dr. House, that they truly mean, I love you, Dr. House. Uh, they, they do, they, and you want that to be underneath. And when the actor just comes with that, I hate you, it's like, no, the, no, it's, it's wrong, obviously. Um, do, you, do you find yourself directing them a lot uh, in, in, you know, when you're doing, when, I'm talking not week to week, I'm talking for the series, or the pilot rather. Um, yeah, the pilot, I mean, you need a director who, who understands all that. Yeah. Uh, and and you, like, I, I do extensive tone meetings with the directors and this is week to week, but <clears throat> it's amazing the stuff you see on the page and you think is so obvious to you isn't so obvious to other people. No. And, and, and there's 10,000 things that they can go a different direction on. Oh. And, and one or two of them are brilliant, but a lot of them aren't and, and are losing something that you want. Cause this scene is here to set up that scene. You know, this scene needs a standard zone, but it's part of a whole story. Um, so I see just just the fact that some characters have to drive the scene and you then just somebody and then you'll go out to the stage and you'll be watching that character sit back and you know go I don't know maybe this and you, yes just, yeah just to drive the scene push it forward <laughs> yeah I, I I did one scene a few years ago I wasn't directing it but I was I was there and the actors, you know, was driving, doing exactly what you described, and the actor made a choice to have his hands in his pockets. Mm -hmm. And I just asked the director, director to have him take his hands out of his pockets. And everything changed. Everything mm -hmm. changed. The way he was approaching it just suddenly changed. He was just, you know, he was pumped. He was excited. And so it changed for the better. Yes, yes, it changed much better. It became uh, great. Have you done that and messed them up? We've done that. And that said yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, we all do. Yeah, I have, I have gone and said, yeah, forget that note I gave you before. Is that possible? <laughs> Can you just put it out of your mind? Go back to what you're doing before, which was brilliant, before I messed it up. Wow, yeah. very cool. The, uh, I should say, you, you reminded me of something that Paul Haggis said to me many years ago, which, <laughs> uh, which I've quoted you on many times uh, in terms of writing. Um, it's not directly on point, but I feel I have to say it. Because uh, I really try and live by this. You, you said if a, if a scene advances the plot, it's a good scene. And if a scene tells you something about the characters, it's a good thing scene. And if it does both, it's a great scene. And you should be striving for both every single time. Mm. Oh. And uh, do you remember That's, saying? Uh, no idea. No, I, I, no, <laughs> I don't remember any advice I give. <laughs> so no, not. But I'm um, glad. I'm sure I read that somewhere and then passed it on to you. <laughs> wow, interesting. Yeah, that's it's, it's truth. You 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 can't just yeah, it, if it just advances the plot, it's a it's good, it's functional. Uh, but if it advances character too, or it makes you think by doing that, isn't he going to sell his soul by by winning? Then suddenly, yeah, you've got to see. Yes. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Uh, uh, this, I will say this in terms of um we had a tough time casting house. I feel I should add this if people are, if people are yes. gonna watch, it's become very yeah. old. Um, actually casting Dr. House, uh, we read a lot of people, we had offers out to people and it was to the point where I watched, you watch audition after audition after audition. I reached a point where I was starting to doubt yeah. the quality of my own writing. I was starting to go, did I, 
did I write something? You know, you try and write conflicting character traits within somebody. They're, they're, we're all a mass of contradictions, and you try and you try and write that, and you try and show that, and then and then I thought I had done the equivalent of writing the actor is tall and yet short. Mm -hmm. um, I can type that. An actor can't deliver that. And I was starting to wonder whether I'd done the equivalent of that because an actor would come in and be very funny, but that would be it. And then an actor would come in and be, I, and they, they get the, the, the pathos of it, but wouldn't be amusing. Right, yeah. Uh, or they were just wearing it, obviously. And then Hugh Laurie put himself on tape and it was remarkable. He put himself on tape. Of course he did because he's mostly a comedy guy at that point. Yes. You no, know, he yes. was no brilliant piece. I mean, I loved, uh, uh, the, the the stuff he'd done early early on. Me too. Uh, Fry and Laurie. I mean, it was just yes. brutal. I just would. I lived to watch that. But but a big step from that to House. Yeah, yeah. No, huge. I actually, when I heard he was putting himself on tape, I went, Oh, I know that guy. I I'm a huge fan. But the Americans didn't know him. Yeah. Uh, most of them. And and he's a comedy guy. And I thought, Ooh, maybe I'll get to meet him. But I never for a moment thought he could do it. <laughs> really. <laughs> Really? Yeah, no, brilliant actor. Wow. And then he, yes. So, yes, brilliant. It teaches you something about humility, which we go over and over again, which I had some a lesson I have to learn constantly. But also for actors is that, you know, sometimes you just, doesn't matter how big you get, you got to pitch yourself. You got to put yourself out there. And he did. He went on tape, put himself on tape and sent it. He didn't even ask to, to you to fly over and meet him. Didn't didn't say, I'll fly in if you pay me and then I'll do it in person. It's the only way I'll do it. No, he put himself on tape and obviously impressed the hell out of you yeah yeah it was it you know there's so many cautionary tales in tv and that you have little control over a lot of it but it is so important i've talked about you and the director being on the same page it, it's particularly for a tv series you and your star you and your network boy i've had this not happen but you have to be I've had a network wanting to do a completely different series than I was doing, as it turned out. And I didn't last very long on that. And you you and your star need to see the character the same way, need to see the show the same way, uh, or you are just doomed. No matter how brilliant the idea is, you are doomed. I've been there. I've been there. 